There's a delivery crate. There we are, guys. Volcano. Holy shit. Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of the Modded Axe Survival series. I believe we're on episode 9 and in the last episode I said we're going to look at getting the tech replicator going. Uh, let me just double check where we're at. I think we just need black pearls. Right, so we need more polymer which I believe is just cement and paste and obsidian which is not too difficult. However, the black pearls is the difficult bit. So there's, a mul there's multiple ways we can get these black pearls. One of them being the gatchers. So, this gacha obviously doesn't produce black pearls, otherwise we'd have him doing it day in, day out. Another way is like there's trilobites that you found on the beach, uh, mainly where we spawned, we can have a look at that. Uh, another place we can get them is in a, an artifact cave over to the left, like near, uh, somewhere on the left, I'm not sure where. Uh, there's like an artifact cave, and we can find them there. Uh, another place we can get them is... At the bottom of the sea, at the deepest parts of the sea, you can find these creatures that you can kill to get them. Um, but what I want to do, we probably could get them from raiding, but I'm not too sure about that. But what I want to do is, I'm going to go and do another stone run, because I think we need stone. And in the process, I am going to look for some more, um, what do you call them? Gatchers, there we go. Because we also need some keratin and chitin as well, so there's a fair bit to do while we're out. Uh, but if we are going underwater, we will be making an underwater weapon, such as a crossbow. Right, I'm seeing those particles. Oh! I didn't even realise there was a base there. I don't think we've got this one marked. We don't. Shit. It's all thatch! Hell, we're raiding this thing. Can't see a thing in there. Wow, right, um, I might have to set up that crit. Okay, so while we're here, we'll collect some resources. What I do want to do as well is I want to set this up so we can start transferring some stuff back to the base, as I do not want to be carrying all of this material here. Um, so, Drake Egg, all of this material. <laughs> Bastard. Oh, there's another survivor, so I'm assuming there's another base around here. Narcotic? Oh, we just totally wiped him out and got some narcotic. Okay, so I saw Crystal was one of them. Pull that out of the item cache. I know wood was another. And I know fiber was another. Hello! What the hell is that? That's a base. That is a base. How dare he park his base right over here? Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go look for an underwater animal, like a megalodon, dolphin. It doesn't really matter. Preferably something like a Megalodon. Um, we're also going to take our mech, so I'm going to have to bring him back up here really quick. Um, but we've got the Trank Guns, we've got the Scuba Gear in case we need it, and we've got the Cryopod, so if we run out of materials, I don't feel like we're ready, which we don't actually have a crossbow, so we can actually grab the Megalodon. So apparently this goes underwater, I don't trust it though. But yeah, again, it's not killing me, and it's not killing it. So I'm trusting it.
again, so look at pals. Oh, there he is! There he is! That is him! That's the squid! Bag. That has black pearls and all sorts of other things. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Very good shots. There's a base. One unfortunate turn of events. Right. Let's raid. Fucking hell! This guy's got fucking tech on him. Oh, has he got full tech? I can't actually tell. Oh no. I can't believe on this trip we got tech. Ah, uh, shit. Right. Guys, we might have to make a sacrifice here. We did get black pearls, yes. But we didn't get enough for the bench or the replicator. But the tech armor has pearls in it. So it wouldn't be a bad idea grinding that up. Okay, so some of you guys are going to call me dumb for what I'm suggesting. But in the long run, it's going to be better for us. Now, obviously, we've got tech armor. Now, tech armor is brilliant. Yes, we can use it. We have the element. But it's temporary. The armor will eventually die. But what isn't temporary and what will help us much more, especially with these gatches as well with the crystals, will be the tech replicator. So what I'm suggesting we do is we stick them in the grinder and uh, we'll, we grind them up for the materials so we can get the black pearls out of them. And then with the black pearls, all we have to do is literally, have to do is literally just build the tech replicator at that point. Then we'll have a tech replicator. Then from there on it is going to be much better for us. It hurts me as well, but in all honesty, guys, it's the best thing to do. There we go. So, we're going to use this organic polymer as well, and we have 85 black pearls. There we go, guys. It's like fate. We have just enough for us to do this. And there we go. This is the S Plus version, guys. Which is more or less the same as the original, but allows us to have a bigger storage capacity and all the other goodies that we're going to need. But it is, unfortunately, humongous. Um, we could fit it in here, but it's going to be a tight squeeze. Um, maybe, if we're lucky, we could fit it in the corner. Okay, guys, I hope you're ready to see the new workshop. I've spent a long time working on this, but everything is in place and it all fits really nice. So, here we are. Look at this. I have kept the replicator in the same place, but we can still get in because I've swapped these guys around. I've put the forge in the corner. It's much better. Ah, right. So it seems our chest is full of all sorts of resources we can't place anymore. So we're going to need 6,000. I'm going to pull another 3,000 out and then we'll do 12,000 stone. If you allow me to do that. Right, it won't. So let's just pull all the stone out of there. And make it easy as we can. So our resource vault is almost full. We've managed to store everything possible, but it is almost full. So we're going to need to start crafting some stuff. Another thing is our guns are crafting. Look at this. Look at this. A little 45 ACP 1911, I believe that is. No ammo whatsoever. Uh, the other weapon that's not been made yet. Look at this! This is amazing. Okay, so what I do like about this weapon locker is the weapons that you actually have, they sit within these little 
um, like gun holster things, the little slots for the guns, they actually sit there. The pistols, they don't unfortunately, but the rifles do. Alright, so now we're just making a bunch of rounds, look at this. Uh, we'll check on them later. Close this fa oh, hang on a minute. Look, the rounds actually sit at the bottom. Look, the bullets actually sit in there. That is amazing. You got some bullets that sit there and some bullets that sit at the top. That the 45 it? That's cool. Um, we are running low on storage as well. So once we've got the gacha thing sorted, we are going to have to look at making somewhat of like the server that was on about. Which means all of this around us is going to have to start becoming like a resource server farm. Uh, we're not going to do everything into the resource server farm because like S+, Plus, it only does resources. So stuff like uh, guns and uh, armor for example. Stuff that do not stack will not go in the dedicated storages. So we are going to have to you know, have a vault for stuff like that. But the rest of it, the rest of the resources, will go in like the dedicated storages, which will actually make it much better. If we use the S plus ones as well, um, it will all connect with a gacha farm and the dinos, so everything will become automatic. That is it for this episode, guys. So I hope you've enjoyed it. We got some black pearls, we got the replicator going, and we started using the modern weaponry. And um, we hadn't used that since episode two, maybe three. I don't know, but we haven't touched it since we had the raft. So thanks for watching this episode guys and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.